Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sandra and Tara Finney here. Hi, hello and welcome. Today's daily tarot reading will be using the Journey to Oz and Wonderland tarot that will be listed in the description box down below. And this is for the 17th of July 2024. So let's see what else is happening for today. And let's get started. Alright, my lovelies, I am back. We have all your cards out on the table. We have one ace, seven major arcanas, and I have one synchronicity for you. We have three, three, three showing up. So let's dig into the best part of your day. We start off with the seven of cups. The empath in the reverse, which is an additional card in this particular deck. Death. King of Wands in the reverse. Now that I drop it. <laughs> the Empress in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. The Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Okay. There's a little bit of coming to terms or realization happening here. And all the routes, avenues, things that you could choose. You're able to see really what your heart's not into, what your intuition isn't urging you towards, the things that are just kind of meh. <laughs> and how that really is something that you would like to change. I mean, if you have a choice between worse and bad, I mean, that's not much of a choice. Um, and if you don't like any of the choices before you, that's never good either. I mean, that doesn't exactly inspire you to uh, walk down and make those choices. Not at all. Why? Because you know those don't bear fruit. You're not going to be happy. It, it's just going to be something that you're forced to do. You're not going to see, you know, a lot of results the way you wanted to. So when it comes to what you get out of it versus how you feel about it, this is what you're coming to terms with. This is what you're uh, but juggling and trying to contend with as you make a choice. However, it means you've actually got fairly good clear sight. You have clarity. You're able to see, you know, future outcomes, future potentials, enough to go, okay, if I go this way, this is what happens. If I go that way, this is how I'm going to feel. If I go this way, I, this is what's going to happen and this is how I'm going to feel. So you're being very truthful, very honest. Um, you're being very disconcerting, actually. This makes me wonder if perhaps you may not choose because looking ahead, seeing what you see, um, and being selective, which it looks like we are, we are being disconcerting enough that maybe we are going to be so selective that we choose not to choose, which is a choice. So we're going to continue on and see what else comes up for you and the rest of these cards. It's nice that uh, some foresight is coming through. We're using our head. You know, we're just not making offhanded choices just because we're presented with something and we're just told, go left, go right. And that's all we're told. That's all we see. So we just randomly choose 50-50 and, you know, 
um, or we choose because somebody says, oh yeah, go left. Now the worst part of our day, we start off with the uh, Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Knight of Cups. And the Three of Cups. Yeah. Oof, da. Okay. <laughs> Comforting. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you may view this more as an obstacle. That is very stressful, very uncomfortable, um, burdensome even. Simply because if your emotions are not engaged, if your hopes and dreams for the future are also not there, if those two things are not supported, you're not going to see this as um, an easy choice. This will end up being rather uh, a difficult. You, <laughs> mountain skies tapestry. Okay, yeah, uh, mountains um, come off as obstacles. Oh, well, they also come off as achievements. Because once you scale them, they are an achievement. Yes, but prior to that, they are an obstacle. And yes, you may see this as difficult choices. You might see this as a very big obstacle. Hmm. Yeah. It almost feels like maybe you may not make choices, especially if there's not one there that speaks to you, that does engage all those aspects. Okay, we're, we're going to get into your obstacle, how to get over your obstacle and see if there's any hesitancy or not making choices or anything like that in here. We start off with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. The Hermit, the Witch, this is also an additional card in this deck, the Three of Swords in the reverse, the Hierophant in the reverse, the Sun, the Knight of Wands, and we end on the Two of Wands. Okay, well, I'm glad that one's in the reverse. Huh. Oh, this is interesting. This is very much kind of um, breaking the mold energy. because it's interesting. Um, we're actually freeing ourselves from connections. Whether that is what society expects of us, what other people are telling us. At the same time, we're also following our own introspection, our own thoughts, our own feelings, our own capabilities, or dare I say our own instincts that's what we should be listening to, our own inner compass, our own inner guidance. So if we forget what society demands of us, what family, friends dictate or say to us about what we should do, what we could do, what we have to do, what do we want? What does our gut say? What does our intuition say we should be doing? Or what direction should we go? That'll be a lot less painful for us once we actually start listening to that. Once we start trusting ourselves. Using our own guidance, our own intuition, living our own life for ourselves. And not paying attention to what society says, the rules that you put in place, or like I said, what family says with the hierarchy and family order and social structure says that um, 
we should do when it comes to being happy or having joy. Because obviously there is a gap or a void of some sort between what you consider to be happiness and enjoyment versus what others say. This is where I'm getting that breaking the mold energy. Um, and not only because you're going against the grain or the suggestion literally to get over this is to go against the normal. Um, but yeah. So maybe you are someone coming of age and you're having to realize you need to start making your own choices, living for yourself, um, or regardless of age, this could just be for uh, those of you that really need to learn to stop living for others or living um, through others. And what I mean by that, um, let's be a little bit more specific here. If you don't live your life for yourself, and make your own choices. There's always going to be people that will step in and make those choices for you. And then you'll be living the life they want you to. When really, when it comes to happiness, you, you should be this uh, a lovely a knight of wands. A knight of wands is very go-getting. Um, he's usually, uh, to the point where he moves because he's intoxicated, enthusiastic, um, invigorated even uh, about something that is passionate, important um, to him that propels him forward. He is an innovator. He's an explorer. That's the kind of energy you need to embody. What lights you up and propels you forward? what sparks your interest and keeps it enough you want to throw yourself headlong into it. And I'm not talking about something that you're like, uh, yeah, maybe. No, I'm talking about something that you feel that way that you just can't stop yourself. Why? Because we have the two of wands here in the reverse. We're not waiting. This is something that you want to do. You need to do. even compelled to do. That's funny, they're bringing me back to the hermit and the fact that the dormouse is inside the, the teacup. So perhaps this is something that you've hidden about yourself. That in your own little world, you might have entertained this. Or you've hidden away from society, from your family, from anyone close to you because it's either unwanted, not allowed, maybe, you know, mocked or laughed at. So it's been bottled up inside. Yeah, breaking the mold or maybe breaking the shell is um, a more apt description if we're actually having to come out of our show. Perhaps for some of you there is something you're wanting to do that needs to be birthed, breaking your shell. Although for quite a lot of you, this is literally you just going against the grain going against the mold that everyone's put you in and coming out of your own shell. Why? Because you need to be you. It's that living your own life energy I'm getting. Just remember, not choosing is a choice, but anytime you don't choose your own path, there's always going to be those that will step in and make it for you. Whether that is society, family, friends, a boss, you know, there, there's plenty of people out there who would be glad to tell you what you should do and how you should do it. Okay. So perhaps it's just time for us to learn how to create our own life. 
Yeah. And I did add up all your cards, by the way. Everything here adds up to a hundred. Um, and 59, yeah, 159, which also reduces to one, which is the magician or the pioneer. Yeah, it's that creation energy. Um, hmm. Going our own way, making our own choices, living our own life, or in this case, coming out of our shell. Perhaps once we use our own tools, our own intuition, our own moral compass, um, we can birth a new part of ourselves or something that we deem worth it to enthusiastically explore. And off we go. We get that pioneering energy. Once we shatter the mold. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I, I gotta walk away from that before I get too caught up in the timelines and energies and I really want to pull more cards. So um, for the, those that do like the astrology, Moon in Sagittarius is opposite Jupiter in Gemini. Yeah, difficult to control yourself. You can be prone to excess and going overboard. Try to stop yourself before you even start. And it's funny because I find that interesting because here we have the breaking the mold energy. We actually have the coming out of the shell energy. Wanting to live your own life for yourself. And the astrology is the quite opposite. And I get the inkling that maybe Oh, was that what the hermit energy was for? About the hut where they said the dormouse was inside the teacup? You've kept things bottled up inside? There's something you want to say, something you want to do? You've kept it to yourself or tried to contain it? And now it's time to set it free? Breaking the shell? Breaking the mold? I mean, there's one thing to be said for dramatic flair, but at the same time, you can break the mold, you can break out of your shell, you can make your own choices without being loud, proud, and, you know, in everyone's face about it. You can be quiet, firm, resolved, and still make your choices. Okay, so maybe we just need to incur our enthusiasm for telling people no instead as we move forward. Maybe that's our true warning of the day. Not that we can't do this process, because that's what's showing up. It's just maybe our attitude um, and fanfare of how we do it needs to just scale back a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. All right, my lovelies, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. And if it resonates for you, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. And if it doesn't, don't worry. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.